What's going on guys? So it is always a fun day whenever you come across a nice triple wide and that is currently what I'm standing in right now. This thing is absolutely beautiful and that master bathroom and bedroom man are something. Whew, they're amazing. So let me take you on a little tour and tell you all about it. All right y'all, so we are right by the interstate. I just wanted to show you the front of this house real quick and then I'm gonna take you around to the back and I'm gonna tell you the dimensions and everything. It is super loud. I know that is ridiculous, but I do like the columns right here on the porch. And then you do have the nice porch. So let's go around back real quick. All right, my word is loud. I had to do some shimmying to get back here, but I figured I'd still go ahead and this is like their storage area. But this is the outside of this home. You do have a back door right here. As far as the size goes, this home is a four bedroom, three bath. 2,062 square foot. It's actually 2,534 square foot. I was thinking that 2,000 square foot sounded kind of small when I was editing, but I went back and looked and it's actually 2,534 square foot. So there you go. Triple wide and it is huge. This is model RC4072 Alpha if y'all wanted to check it out for yourselves. And then it does have a back porch over here. I'm not gonna be able to get to the back porch from the inside because they have them locked, unfortunately, but you guys can still kind of check it out. You can get to it from both your dining room and from your master bedroom. And then coming around to the opposite side, all of the windows. just beautiful as far as the siding this is like a t111 siding right here and it's like a i don't know what you would call that almost like a beige color so let's go inside oh beautiful <laughs> this thing is definitely something else so when you first walk inside of this home, this is what you were greeted with. And you do so from your front door right here, with your nice laminate floor for your landing. And then that opens up into carpet. Of course, if you didn't want carpet, you could always swap that out. Now, this is your first living area. If this was my house, this would probably be like the area that's not used just for decoration. Or maybe if you have like big gatherings or something, everybody could kind of congregate in here. And then from there, you have two bedrooms back here and your first bathroom. So you have a single vanity and your vanity light, your toilet, and then a shower and tub combo with a little light or window up top. But yeah, I mean, man, these homes are something else, but trying to get the outside is ridiculous. Super close to the interstate. Like I could throw a rock and hit a car driving by, so it gets loud out there. Anyway, this is your first bedroom, the first of the four. With your closet. And then across the hall from that is your second bedroom, which is almost identical in size, which is nice. And the closet. It is a, uh, it's a rough one today. It's getting hot out there. But I'm so glad that I found this home. I actually, uh, I saw something like this. It was a Palm Harbor home when I was in Oregon. And I didn't get to film it, or I did film it, but I don't, I don't know what happened to the footage. I never put it up on the channel and I was really disappointed in it. So now I'm super excited that this is here. But this dining room area right here is wonderful there's actually this is like your formal dining room area 
There's actually a couple of them. Well, not a couple of them, but... Well, I guess there are a couple more places to eat. There's another little, maybe like a breakfast nook. Anyway, we'll get to that in just a second. So, right after the dining room, you have this little hallway area. It's another closet. And then you have your third bedroom, and this is kind of like a guest suite, I guess. We'll kind of come over here and let you guys check it out. This one actually has its own bathroom inside of it. Really nice. You got your closet right here. And then as far as the bathroom, you do have a nice single vanity your vanity light, your toilet, and your shower and tub combo. This is the last day, guys. It's sad. I mean, it's not sad, I'm actually, I'm glad I get to go back. I've done the whole being away from family for a long time and it sucks. So I don't really like spending a whole lot of time away from them, especially now that we got the youngin, and I think with that, the boys need even more attention. That way they don't think that nobody loves them anymore. All right, so this is your utility room. You have your water heater and your furnace. You have like a linen closet over here and a little folding table. Your back door. And then you have your washer and dryer hookups. And then into this glorious kitchen. I mean, look at all of the cabinets. Ridiculous. So many. You have a pantry. And then, poof, man. <laughs> uh, we could spend days in here. How many of you would hit the dislike button if I went through every one of them? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Only half of them. You have your microwave over the top of your stove, which is nice. I, there's very few that we've seen uh, that have had microwaves in them. There's been a few, but not a lot here. And then you have your refrigerator with a refrigerator on one side and your freezer on the other. And some more cabinets, I'm telling you, they go for days. And then right next to that, you have this humongous oversized island with these exquisite, I'm gonna say exquisite, cause I love them. Like uh, pendant lights, but man alive, really nice. And then even more cabinets and drawers your sink, and this one has a dishwasher on the island right next to the sink. Then on this side, you have all the space for seats, and you even have some more cabinets on this side. Then beyond that, you're greeted with this beautiful breakfast room that's what I'm gonna call it, with the matching chandelier as the lights over the top of the island. So beautiful space, and then you do have the back porch right here. They have it shut off so I can't go out there. But then you have these beautiful windows that also look out 
over the top. Can you, can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> it's down there. And then wham. Look at this. Beautiful. Master bedroom that's big enough to have its own seating area. You know that's big. And then again, you do have your private door to go out onto the porch. So honestly, I would just lock that one over there and the only people that could go onto the porch would be me and Jen. Our private sanctuary. But massive, master bedroom and then from there, you enter into an even nicer master bathroom. So you do have your double vanities separated by this gigantic garden tub. Beautiful walk-in shower with the tile surround. I love the tile in here. And then it does have a bench in there as well. And the glass doors, man, woo! And then you do have, this is where your closet is. You have this barn style door right here. And that opens up into really deep walk-in closet. So you have a couple nice built-ins right here to your right. And then on the opposite side, there's some more built-ins as well. And then we can't forget about the most important place in this entire bathroom. No, oh, this isn't it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, your water closet. It does have one. All right, so I definitely love this home. It is absolutely beautiful, but I wanna hear your thoughts on it down in the comments, so get down there. If you want any more information on this home or Homes Direct here in Albuquerque or any of their other 13 locations on the West Coast, I'll leave that link for you down in the description below. As far as the price of this home, it's gonna start out at about $286,000. Now, of course, that price can change due to a whole wide variety of factors, and it may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. I've had a fantastic time hanging out with you guys, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. But until then, my name's Timothy. Take care. <laughs>